Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Semerauer. Let's get started with our top stories this morning, brought to you by Nevada Hand's Silver Sky Assistant Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. The founder of Lee's Discount Liquor and longtime philanthropist has died at age 79. Heyoon Lee opened his first liquor store back in 1981. Now there are 22 stores across Nevada. The company had celebrated its 40th anniversary just earlier this month. Lee was battling pancreatic cancer since last year, and the company's chief financial officer said Lee, quote, put out a good fight. Police are investigating a suspicious death over in Summerlin after construction workers found a man's body Saturday morning. The body was found over near Alta Drive and Cross Bridge Road. The Clark County Coroner's Office has yet to identify the man and determine his cause of death. We do have a deceased male who has yet to be identified, who is down in the desert with apparent trauma to their head. And to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Martin Luther King Jr.'s history, a March on Washington, D.C. pop-up rally was held over the weekend. City council members, community activists, poets from Spotlight Poetry, and the ACLU of Nevada's executive director gathered on Saturday at Lloyd D. George Federal District Courthouse as part of a nationwide demonstration, March on for Voting Rights. Those who attended the weekend event advocated for voting right bills currently sitting in the U.S. Senate. We're learning more about the Henderson Corrections officer facing a second DUI charge since joining the force. Elliot Holman is accused of grabbing his fiancée by the neck and pushing her into a wall. He was booked last week on DUI and domestic battery charges. Holman has been a Henderson Police Department employee since 2016. In 2018, he was found guilty of DUI. The department says Holman is on paid leave. A court hearing is scheduled for October 25th. And now an update on the Calder fire around the Tahoe Basin. A Red Cross shelter has opened for evacuees over at the Douglas County Community Center in Gardnerville. As of Sunday, the blaze is less than 20 percent contained. All residents on the California side of the area have been warned to leave. In your entertainment news, sponsored by DiscoverYourNevada.com, brought to you by Travel Nevada, a classic musical is taking on modern themes with a Vegas twist. Review Journal's Jen Ah takes us behind the curtain. Good morning, Jen. Good morning, Renee. This version of Annie includes more contemporary changes, even giving Annie a twin brother named Andy. Oh, potatoes yeah. and Brussels sprouts, fine. And, and instead of New York City, brother. it's based in Las Vegas, featuring more racially diverse characters without diluting the fun of the rags to riches story at its core. A play from 1977 uh, built upon a comic strip that debuted in the 1920s and set during the Great Depression. But Broadway and the Hood's production of Annie actually finds some, some touch points between then and now, including poverty, um, kids without parents, homelessness, political division, and even a worldwide event. You can watch Broadway in the Hood's version of Annie this upcoming weekend, either on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday at the West Las Vegas Library Theater. Admission is free and seating is first come, first serve. Renee? Thanks, Jen. We'll imagine Dragons held a special concert for students and teachers at Bonanza High School. Dan Reynolds, the band's lead singer, is a Bonanza graduate. The concert was part of a homecoming series sponsored by Walmart. Sports, sponsored by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app and get a bonus up to $500 when you sign up. The Raiders closed their preseason with a 34-10 loss to the San Francisco 49ers on Sunday at Levi Stadium. While the 49ers played a majority of their starters, the Raiders used Sunday's game as a final evaluation for the 53-man roster. Valuation is critical. The only way you can evaluate guys is in live situations. And uh, we needed this three preseason games to see where our second year players are, where some of our new players are, and where our rookies are. Now it's time to take a look at your local weather forecast sponsored by One Hour Air. No matter the season, no matter the reason, One Hour Air is here for you. The excessive heat warning over the weekend is carrying over till 8 p.m. tonight. We could also see chances of rain around the valley as well, about 10 percent after 3 p.m. Breezy conditions today at 21 miles per hour, highs topping 107 degrees. For the rest of the week, rain chances sticking around until Wednesday. Temps dropping to about 100 degrees Tuesday and possibly staying under 100 degrees for the rest of the week. 
In your health news, sponsored by Forum Dental Love Your Smile again, the Clark County School District is considering a vaccine mandate for its employees. The school board will hold a special meeting Wednesday at 5 p.m. to discuss a vaccination policy. According to a draft resolution, the district would consider exemption requests for certain medical conditions and religious beliefs. This comes two weeks after an elementary school in Henderson switched to distant learning after COVID cases were reported there. Sports betting, sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. With the preseason wrapped up, the NFL regular season is set to kick off with the Dallas Cowboys visiting the defending Super Bowl champion Tampa Bay Buccaneers. BetMGM has the Bucks as a minus 7.5 point favorite, with the over set at 50.5 points. The Baltimore Ravens are a minus 4.5 point road favorite over the Raiders on Monday Night Football, with the over set at 51 points. In your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability, a new transit option for those hoping to watch the UNLV Rebels play at Allegiant Stadium. The Regional Transportation Commission of Southern Nevada says it will offer a game day express bus for Rebels home football games. Route 613 buses will pick up passengers at the UNLV Transit Center off Maryland Parkway. It will also make a stop on Las Vegas Boulevard before dropping off fans near the southeast side of the stadium. The bus will cost you $2 each way and the service will start three hours before kickoff. Now to your lifestyle news, sponsored by Oakmont of Las Vegas Assistant Living and Memory Care, the best care for the best life. You can call this silver and black and delicious. The pastry team at Aria baked a colossal cake featuring the Raiders, Allegiant Stadium, and the iconic Las Vegas skyline. It will also be featured at the Aria Patisserie beginning Monday, September 13th. We want to make sure a lot of the um, details are accurate, so down to like their uh, jersey, their uniforms, their wrinkles, and their pants, and their towels, and um, down to like the little lettering on the stadium. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerhour. If you have Amazon Fire TV, search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. And if you have 7 at 7 on YouTube, don't forget to give us a like and hit that subscribe button down below. We'll see you back here later today for 7 at 7 p.m. from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Have a great day. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.